everyone welcome in this video tutorial we are going to see how to create 3d maps in QGIS and followed up we will see how to overlay images vector vector layers and finally we are going to see how to export this image in 3d view so come on let's get started if you are wondering from where to download them data sets so you can download it from earth explorer so this is the link I'll be sharing the link in the description I have already made videos on this. I'll be also sharing that. And next is uh, NASA Earth data. From here also you can get the elevation data, SRTM. So for this also I have made a video. I'll be putting this in description section. You can just check it out. And I'll be also sharing the DEME data which I am working. First, let us add the elevation data set. Go to layer, add layer, add raster layer use this button to browse for the image I am using SRTM DEM data select open and add so I will be also sharing this image for education purpose I will be putting it in the description section and I will be giving a link for it you can download this image and work out so you can see that uh, some values are given over here 2019 represents the highest elevation of this region and minus 5 is the lowest elevation in this region so before creating 3d map let us download some images so that we can overlay on top of this dem data sets and we can visualize it properly so if you have a satellite imagery it's well and good otherwise I'll be showing you a method for downloading a satellite image for this region you can easily do it so here you can see HCMJS plugin so here from here I'm going to add the uh, Google satellite image as you can see here I have added the Google satellite image right now so I'm going to download this uh, you can easily do it by going to the option print new layout so I'm going to give just a name click OK now you have to use this option add map and draw a box like this within minutes you can see the map has been rendered now we are going to save this image so now let us set the CRS so I'm going to use the default WGS 1984 and after that you can see the option layout and here you can find export as an image so click on export as an image close this and yeah here we need to select the file format I'm going to use TIFF and click on save here you can choose the DPI so I need it uh, in a detailed manner so I am going to set the DPI to 600 save so within seconds the image has been downloaded as you can see here so click on over here you can find the maps map which we have saved just drag it and drop it over here let me minimize it and close the layout menu now let me remove the google satellite that is base map which I have uh, brought in from the plugin base map plugin so now you can see that the image has been successfully downloaded and you can see that I have just overlaid the satellite image on top of this dem so that we can have a good view of this of this region so you can overlay any image you can overlay a landsat image uh, any any sort of images so now let us go to the process of creating 3d map so you can see at the top new 3d map view click on it and you can see this is the 3d map one now yeah we are going to set up the 3d view so click on configure and here select terrain and in type you can find flat terrain so now please select dem and here we are going to in the elevation section we are going to input the SRTM dem or any dem or elevation data sets which you have downloaded and next is a vertical scale so I am going to set the vertical scale to 4 
it uh, visually enhances the terrain height and now click on apply and click on ok now you can see here now use the following buttons use shift button and mouse left click just move on the cursor to the bottom and top like this you can rotate it like this you can rotate the image so if you are wondering whether it's not in 3d if I zoom in and show you how it is you can have a good look at it so you can see here how it is and you can see some patches over here white color patches so in order to remove that once again go to the configure option and here you can set the skirt height for example let me put it to 150 apply ok now let us see if there is any patches so the image is uh, very clear so like this you can create the 3d view you can zoom in using scroll button you can see how the terrain is so in order to export this image first we need to perfectly place the image at uh, which direction you need it so you can just place it so if you want the image to be kept like this set it like that and you can see the option over here for exporting this image but the output quality will be very low low resolution so we can improve the uh, resolution that I'll be showing you uh, in the later part now uh, let's uh, overlay some uh, vector layers also minimize this and once again go to layers and add layers this time we are going to add vector layer and let me browse for uh, some uh, vector layers here you can see the waterways of this region I am going to select open or you can use ESRI shapefile so that you can find it easily waterways click open add it now you can see how it is overlaid let me change the symbology so inside properties you can find symbology here let me change the color to blue so now if you just open the 3d view now you can see it has been updated you can see how it is right now so if you download a higher resolution image that will be uh, more better for visualization so I have set the uh, DPI to 600 you can set it to 600 or 700 or if you have any higher resolution drone image you can put on it so like this you can overlay the vector layers easily so let me add the transportation layer as well so this is the transportation way let me remove the waterways and change this color yeah fine now you can see the transportation way in this region how it is you can visualize it 3d in 3d so it's great you can also add a hill shade or any satellite images or you can also add base maps for example let me show you uh, let me add some base map uh, here you can find ESRI topo topographic so you just have to add it on top of this uh, dem layer so that it will be visible now let us wait so now you can see how the image has been loaded up you can increase the vertical scaling so that you can have a better view of this 
okay you can see how it is so like this you can uh, overlay any sort of image and visually see how it is observe it so finally we are going to see how to export this uh, image so let me minimize it and let me bring on this satellite image let us see whether it's been reflected yes let me make it to four okay done so minimize it and just uh, set it to the perfect perfect viewpoint so that the output will be more realistic okay good so same simple option you can see new print layout give some name okay now you can see over here add 3d map select it and draw a box like this and yeah you can see the uh, copy settings from 3d view so if you have multiple maps you can choose from it but we have just only one uh, 3d map so i'm going to select this one let us wait for it to get loaded click on set from 3d view so it took me uh, 10 to 15 seconds to get loaded and now in order to export it go to the option layout or you can directly use this export as an image you can uh, give some name for it so i'm going to use uh, the format jpeg it on save here you can set the dpi so i'm going to put some dpi 500 and let us save it so it took me a minute so let us see how the image is so you can see just see the clarity of this image if you want to set it if you want the output to be in a higher resolution you can go for a 600 700 dpi so thanks for watching please do give us a like and subscribe thank you very much goodbye